Yesterday I was fortunate enough to see Blue Beetle and today we have my full spoiler free review. Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. I saw Blue Beetle last night at the multimedia screening hosted by Warner Brothers Discovery. And today I will be giving my full honest thoughts regarding the latest DC film. Now, going into this movie, I wasn't expecting much at all. The trailers looked generic and felt like another random DC movie that no one was really that interested in. And I have to say, Warner Brothers Discovery really underpromoted this film. I don't know if it was because I had really low expectations based off of the trailers, but I really enjoyed this movie. I was going in expecting a below average film. Hardly anyone was interested in it, and based on the quality of the promotion, it kind of felt like the studio didn't either. But this film was really fun. Now don't get me wrong, it's not a cinematic masterpiece. It's not the greatest film since The Dark Knight, but I think it's definitely my favourite cinematic universe DC film since Aquaman in 2018. It was funny, emotional, and had some great action sequences. You do feel the budget, however, and it doesn't feel like a movie made for theatres, but it is very entertaining on first watch. Whilst having moments that are very much included in most comic book movies and could be classed as generic or cliche, the thing that sets this film apart from the others is the Reyes family. For the most part, I really liked them, especially Hamey and his father. They had a really great relationship and they were very likeable characters. The sister and the uncle, not so much. They got a bit irritating in the first act, but had some redeeming moments in the final two acts. As for the villains, they were okay. Quite generic, and I think Victoria Cord wasn't very well written. She felt like every other villain out there. A rich, evil character wants what the hero has and doesn't care how many people die for them to get it. Very generic, but what elevates that storyline is Blue Beetle. I loved him. He's already one of my favourite DC characters now. I love his powers and the suit design and the overall character. He's not cocky or arrogant, he's not making tons of jokes throughout, and they managed to get the right balance of overconfidence with his new abilities, but really knuckling down when it got serious. His character really carried the hero versus villain storyline. The villains were quite dull with some generic moments and predictable motives, but Blue Beetle was what carried their interactions. He made it about more than just what the villain was doing. I'm glad we focused more on the heroes rather than the villains because the heroes were where the most interesting moments were, whereas I didn't really care for the villains at all. As for the humour, around 90% of the humour worked, with some of the jokes just not being needed or just didn't land. Now what I want to make clear is that this is all based on my first viewing experience. As a lot of you may know, I prefer serious superhero films, and I think there should be far less comedy in comic book movies. And the reason for that is that after a first viewing, the jokes don't have the same impact for me. Hearing the same jokes on multiple viewings just lessens the impact of them, and so they become less funny and more irritating. So unless they are absolutely hilarious or completely catch me off guard, jokes that work on the first or second viewing don't really work for me if I see them again after that. They may get a chuckle, but they don't have the same impact they did on the first or second viewing. And I think the best movies out there make you want to re-watch them. So if I don't have that desire to see it again, my opinion on the movie declines. Now, as of right now, for Blue Beetle, 90% of the humour worked, and I laughed a lot. But whether or not those jokes still work for me after a second or third viewing is up in the air right now. Now, what I absolutely want to see more of are Blue Beetle action sequences. I loved the action scenes with Blue Beetle in this movie. They were very creative and felt like a breath of fresh air after watching the Flash action scenes. I don't know if that was because they had a smaller budget, so they had to have more practical fights, or if they just took more care to make engaging fights, but this was so much better to watch than many DC battles in recent years. This was definitely a very entertaining movie, and I definitely want to see more of Blue Beetle in the DCU. I loved him in Batman Brave and the Bold, and I loved him in this film, and I know this movie will most likely not do well at the box office, but I really hope that doesn't stop us from seeing more of Blue Beetle, because I really like the character. And I really hope they don't rely on CGI to create 
the Blue Beetle battles in the DCU. Sure, I know that some CGI needs to be used, but what really engaged me with the battles was how grounded they felt. They didn't feel like the Flash, which was just a messy CGI fest. You could feel the weight of every punch and the impact it had on both characters. What I didn't expect, which I'm very happy about, is how emotional this film got. I felt myself tearing up at some point because of how emotional some of these scenes were. Which shows how they were able to engage me with the story and the characters and meant I did feel a connection to them. Which is really good writing. And what was even better was that the film allowed me to stay sad in those moments and actually encouraged the audience to stay strong. In a lot of comedic superhero films recently, the movies don't allow the audience to stay sad, as they force in a cheap joke to lift the movie back up. Blue Beetle instead embraces that sadness and that emotion and uses that as fuel to power ourselves back up. It was a really refreshing thing to see and feel and I really hope James Gunn learns from that and implements it into his DCU. What I will say is don't go into the film expecting an incredible movie. I think going in with low expectations helped. I wasn't expecting a great film and I didn't get one. I got a good movie. A really good movie for what it is. It's introducing Blue Beetle for the first time and had a smaller budget than most DC films and was originally designed for streaming. It didn't have a lot on its side but with the resources they had and the timing the film was released in they did a really good job. It's on the right track. I think they can definitely make a better second film and have some great legs to stand on with the first. It's not perfect and it's not incredible. I'd give it around a 7.5 out of 10. It was an entertaining movie with great action, good laughs and some very strong emotional moments. It's on the right track and hopefully the DCU can take the very best parts of this film and embrace them in their stories but also learn from the flaws of this film and improve those moments. But that is all for today's video, thank you so much for watching, please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!